tell me what happened yesterday because mm -hmm. somebody wasn't on the ice yesterday. Zach Parise got scratched last night. It was his first time being scratched, a healthy scratch as a member of the Wild, which essentially just means you're not playing that night. It's not for injury reasons, but you're not in the lineup. And a guy of his caliber and stature and the goals and the playmaking, that doesn't happen often. And so then we come to find out that on the game tying goal against the Vegas Golden Knights earlier in the week, that he was supposed to come off the ice with his line mates and he didn't. The reason why I'm here talking to you is because like things have not been this spicy for the team for uh, ever, right? It's a big deal. It, it's a big deal when your assistant captain gets benched. It's a huge deal, uh, especially if it's for a, you know, quote unquote, d disrespectful move, I guess you can call it for a coach where you don't change when you're supposed to, that's a big deal. Well, it was disappointing um, and, and I, don't, I don't agree with the decision. I know in my heart I had the best of intentions to help Marcus try to get the hat trick. Unfortunately, it ended the way it did. But his reasoning for doing that, uh, of wanting to give somebody a hat trick, mm -hmm. is that a legitimate reason? It depends. I mean, it, 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 it depends on where you are in the game. At this point, the net was empty and I get it. They were trying to just get him an easy goal. And Felino is a great team guy. He's a great player. He deserved it. And I do believe Zach was trying to get him a hat trick. But ultimately, you have to think about what's best for the team. There is not one thing that you can blame for a game that has been lost. Mm -hmm. But how pivotal was him getting off the ice to the game? Even though that tied the game, the bigger issue is that the Wild had a two goal lead in that game. So it's, it's hard to say that one play lost the game because they also had overtime to win it. And they've been excellent in overtime this year. But ultimately, you always look to somewhere to some play that is a tide turner, and this was, and it's a teachable moment for the team. So what's next for them as they try to figure this out internally? Um, what will we see on the outside? Zach's a smart guy. He's a good hockey player and he's a good team guy. He knows he did the wrong thing. And so he's gonna have to have a private conversation with Dean and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I messed up and I'm not gonna do this to you again. I understand you're the coach, I understand the player, I gotta play and I'm gonna have to listen to you. And that's the way you move past this, that he makes his apology or they make up in some sort of way behind closed doors and we probably won't hear about it again. That was the calmest hockey controversy interview I've ever seen. For fans of the Wild and for everybody else, they play Arizona tomorrow night. So we're like, Dave, is he going to get benched again? And he said he doesn't expect it. So if he does get benched again, just blame Dave Schwartz for being wrong. It's at Dave Schwartz on Twitter. We'll be right back.